All right, boys, so we are installing the Walker R21 48 inch mulching kit here. I bought it from my dealer. Um, it was a great price, I thought. I think it was like 160 or 170 dollars, which is not bad. Even for my little skag mower, it's like 300 dollars something. And because uh, basically all it is is it comes with that baffle thing that you see right there. But it does come with new bolt, extra bolts for the blades, new washers. It comes with the two mulching blades and, you know, and all the bolts and stuff that you need for it. So, it was, it's, a, it's a great addition to your Walker R21. Now, as you can see, over on the side of the deck, like where I'm sitting, where I just put my hand, I end up mounting this up, and you see that little lip on the, uh, on the mulch kit, on the baffle. There's a little lip there. Well, at first, I had it on the inside, um, just not, you know, just not knowing how it, how it went. Um, but that little lip, it needs to go on the outside. You see, I'm kind of wrestling with it, trying to get it to fit. And, um, and that's one of the reasons why it was kind of tight and hard at first, because it had the lip on the wrong side. I don't know why I didn't notice that, for whatever reason. Um, it bolts in like three or four different places, but I notice it. Once, once I go to put these mulching blades on, um, I could tell that it, it wasn't gonna, like the clearance wasn't around, you know, on any of your mowers, you should, especially when installing a different type, side of, set of blades from just like a new set of blades or anything, just to make sure that they clear everything when you put it on, on any mower, you know, just to make sure that it spins around, doesn't hit anything. And so... Um, I noticed when I started to, see I started putting some of my tools away and then ended up having to get them back out in a minute, but I noticed when I was starting to put these mulching blades on that, uh, that it wasn't going to clear right there. See, and then I go get my tools again, take it off, and then I couldn't pull it around because it was too stiff, the metal, so I ended up having to retake off the whole thing and then put it back on the right way with the lip on the outside and then it worked much better everything is perfectly smooth and clears um it's a very well made product there's no issues all the bolts it comes with are perfect um and i took off the discharge chute on my walker because there would there's really no point for it once you put this mulch kit on you don't there's no point for the uh for the the flap you know then i get my torque wrench here and set it at the right torque um which i believe is one um 70 pounds 65 or 70 foot pounds I, I believe is what they call for on the mower so um so i got that done and and then uh, you'll see me put it down and and uh remove the the discharge chute now, i'm pretty sure it's 70 foot pounds it could be it could be wrong but i think that's it because I, uh, I don't remember that rough time I had. It says right on that little sticker right by where I was sitting. But I'm pretty sure that's it. And then we're going to go out and just try it on a lawn. You know, this it's, uh, there's not, you know, there's some leaves kind of stuck in the Bermuda, which I end up still having to blow some. But man, this thing, it does a great job. The mulch kit does a great job. Um, it does exactly what it's supposed to do. Um, and it works great. So we'll try to show a little footage of it and do some after I built that fence, my wife got me this walker jacket and this walker hat. Super cool. Alright boys, so, as you can see, um, this property I've already mulched, like all this woods and stuff, I've already mulched it. As you can see, I just blew this section. Um, and this is Bermuda, so it's kind of hard because the little leaves get stuck down in there. But the first time mulch kit, like I don't expect it to make it perfectly clean. But, hey, I want to try it. And also, we'll do the same thing down the backyard just to help make these grass pieces look fresh and that kind of stuff. Because Christmas is next week or something. It's close. So, anyway, let's put you on time lapse, see what it can do.
right boys look at this um it's a uh, we we paid a bakery maybe 20 30 minutes away and they made like you know custom made these for us it's got like fudge and like stuff like um you know truffles and pralines and stuff it's like assortment and these are going to customers um we spent $460 on this stuff and then and we still have to package it up and ship it all so that's what we're going to be working on tonight so I want to make sure and get all my customers um something like this and um it's nice you know it comes with a nice little bow on it I would open it to show you guys the candy but we would never be able to get the bow <laughs> back like that so <laughs> anyway yeah let's package them up So what they're getting is um, our Christmas card and that and um, I bought some of this bubble wrap to put in there but bought a couple rolls of this but I just wasted my money on this because it's too tight to fit it so but it's working good, pretty good I'd say I take it slow but we got a bunch of them in there this contractor bag I'm gonna fill up this box it's gonna be funny walking in the post office, right? And you just got a whole bunch of like stuff like this. I mean, what's your guess on how much dollars mm. ship all these? I see four dollars per thing. I hope it'd be less than that. I... My guess is 90 bucks. Which would be what per thing? Two dollars? A little more than two dollars. Alright guys, it ended up being like $236 with a book, couple books of stamps that we needed to. So Emily definitely won because it was like, some of them were like five dollars depending on where they live and stuff. So we got 53 customers and a bunch, maybe half of them lived there at the house and half of them lived like in other towns, Atlanta, etc. So we had to mail them. Alright guys, if y'all watched Elf yet this year, me and me still gotta watch it, but right now we're just working in the mail room. So, it's like, have you heard of the mail room? It's like Santa's workshop, although it smells like mushrooms and everybody looks like they want to hurt me. <laughs> Alright boys, we got a bunch in there. Full bag full in here. And, um, so we have 53 yards um but we have but some of those people like one person will like manage two yards or they own two yards or something like that so so i think we it's i think it's 46 actual people that we uh you know that we um work for so that's how many of those little packages are sending out it's gonna be nuts going to the post office you know <laughs> big old bags of uh packages oh man all right.